Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, tracking very light scattered precipitation and live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar in the form of mainly flurries and in some cases snow showers across southeastern Massachusetts. Notice the coverage is not very widespread. It's associated with a storm that's actually well offshore. So good news there. We're going to miss a lot of significant precipitation, but we'll keep flurries and scattered uh, light snow showers in the forecast for this evening, overnight and very early tomorrow morning. Strong cold front arriving Friday. You'll notice it by Friday night the temperature will really drop a kind of a reinforcing shot of colder air especially when you wake up Saturday morning and as we talked about there earlier in the newscast changes to the weekend the latter part of it 50 50 and it certainly has an impact on the Patriots game we'll show you that in just a second flurries in Providence right now 24 but a bit of a breeze it feels more like 15 so it's certainly Cold out there, obviously. Humidity is high at 81%. Smithfield now down to 23 with cloudy skies. Here's the wider view in a storm system uh, well offshore. You can see the bulk of the moisture offshore, but there is a small a piece of this weather system attached to it that will be swinging through southern New England. It will keep the cloud cover and at least occasional either scattered flurries or hit and miss light snow showers. Futurecast shows as well starting off at 7 o'clock this evening. Temps in the mid-20s. Best chances for precipitation actually right in here across southeastern Mass. Notice this is 2 o'clock in the morning. You see these elements of uh, flurries and freezing sprinkles across southeastern Mass. It's the further west you go, it, it's actually drier as the further east you go into southeastern Mass, the better chance for this light precipitation. Here we are tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. with clouds and temps in the mid-20s. Still a chance uh, of a flurry. And then during the afternoon, mostly cloudy, but as we get mid to late day, especially away from southeastern Mass, we'll see some partial sunshine. Temperature are not much higher than about 31, 32 degrees. And by tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock, the atmosphere drying out or at least skies clearing out with readings in the upper 20s. As far as any potential slippery spots from perhaps maybe a thin coating from Boston down through uh, New Bedford out towards Cape Cod, uh, elsewhere, the situation should be okay, but we'll watch it closely. Mostly cloudy tomorrow morning, a couple of flurries, temperatures starting off in the 20s. And then during the afternoon, mainly cloudy, though some breaks of sun by late day, early evening, upper 20s to lower 30s and nothing more than a passing flurry. Threat tracker now through Friday in the low category as far as a substantial or significant weather. Seven day future cast a lot colder by Friday night as a strong cold front passes through. It starts off uh, seasonably cool during the day, but it really drops off at night with strong wind. It is sunny, frigid on Saturday at 28 and unfortunately changes to the forecast on Sunday. We started talking about this a little bit late last night with some rain moving in as now it appears as though a cold Coastal storm will come close enough to give us some cool rain on Sunday. Sunday evening at 36 degrees for the kickoff at around 6:30, and um, temperatures by Monday in the upper 30s with winds and drying conditions. So right now there's your half and half weekend, and unfortunately Mother Nature does play a part in this big championship game. All right, Tony, thank you. And now here's.